really? Tashimoto as well. Uh -huh. So all of the pundits went against Kitsu. So that was the biggest upset of the tournament. She probably comes her. into this a little bit favored, not least of all because she's a few places higher than Kuziutina. Kuziutina isn't quite the same prospect as she was, say, five years ago. Chitsu, she always appears to me to be a, a real aggressor. You know, she good attacking. Part of it, I think, is her posture when she comes into grips. Well, the Romanian coach was telling me that Kitsu's got the ability to throw anybody, and she quite often does in, in training camps. Well, that's a nice sign, but you really want to be able to reproduce that kind of skill here out in the middle. I prefer to be the mediocre guy in trading camps and be the killer on the, uh, the tournament to Tommy. She picks up her first penalty. The fighters got rather close to each other there and you thought for a moment that they were going to explode, but nothing came of it. Because the Yutina has been quite the strength for the Russians that they had hoped a few years ago. You know, maybe it's just me, but one of the things I've seen basically from the Russian women's team since Gamba took over is much more development than Nawaz, and you can see it right here. It's a Yoko Shiho, but I'm not sure I really like there we go. And now it's going to switch over into a Keisha Katame. It's a little bit stronger now. Yeah. Kitsu managed to escape from the first. This one looks a little bit stronger. And Kuzi Yutina is going to take it on this. Yeah, good job of, for the majority of that, keeping her hips low and keeping her knees to the tummy so that they couldn't get hooked by Chichu. Rose medalist in wide four, Russia, Natalia Kuzutina, El Mac four for Germany, Marijn Kerr. Now we offer you the bronze medal fight on the scoreboard. Et voici toujours sur les écrans cette action suivie de l'immobilisation. So two matches, straight matches decided by a cyclone here. Both of them didn't look particularly dangerous when they first went in. But really nice movement to connect things up here. It's a nice transition from uh, from a Yoko Shio to Keisa Katame. Japan. The bronze medalist at the World Championship last year, Fukuoka.